Ito na nga ba ang katapusan para sa mga international students? Oh no! Kamusta mga kababayan? Salamat sa Diyos at mayroon na naman po tayong isang mabuting pagkakataon na magkita-kita namang muli at ang dalangin ko pong parati sa Diyos. Sana kayo ay lagi nasa mabuting kalagayan. At ngayong araw na ito, mag update tayo para sa mga kababayan natin na mga international students. Kasi, etong announcement na ito ay kabababa lang ngayong Friday, November 8, dito sa Canada. Ang sabi po dito, mismo sa Government of Canada website na canada.ca, end of the student direct stream and Nigeria Student Express. Orawa, November 8, 2024, Canada is committed to giving all international students equal and fair access to the application process for study permit. The student direct stream was launched in 2018 to provide faster processing for eligible post-secondary students. The SDS was eventually opened to legal residents of Antigua and Barbuda, Brazil, China, Colombia, Costa Rica, India, Morocco, Pakistan, Peru, Philippines, Senegal, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago, and Vietnam, prospective university students from Nigeria had a similar process with the Nigeria Student Express, or NSE. Canada's goal is to strengthen program integrity, address student vulnerability, and give all students equal and fair access to the application process, as well as a positive academic experience. To meet this commitment, the Student Direct Stream and Nigeria Student Express initiatives have ended as of 2 p.m. ngayong araw na ito, mga kababayan. Prospective students are invited to apply through the regular study permit. So, ang ini-end lang po sa ngayon is the student direct stream. Pero pwede pa rin po kayo mag-apply dun sa regular study permit stream which accepts guaranteed investment certificates as proof of financial support. Canada will continue to welcome international students from all around the world. Ang next step po for prospective students, eligible SDS and NSE applications received before 2 p.m. ngayon on November 8, 2024 will be processed under these streams, study permit applications submitted on or after this time will be processed under the regular study permit stream. This change will not adversely affect eligibility for those who wish to apply for a study permit from a country where the SDS or NSE initiatives have been offered. All students, regardless of whether they were eligible for the SDS or NSE, are required to meet Canada's study permit application requirements. So, yan lang po muna for today mga kababayan. In-update ko lang po kayo dito sa kabababalang na announcement na ito. So, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, more tips, informations, and opportunities to come. I will see you, God willing, on my next video. Sa manawa kayong parati ng Panginoon sa inyong pang-araw-araw na buhay. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat.